if I have a maximum, so what I do is what I do is in one of the next power tips, I'm going to um, actually show you how to define your maximum loss as well. But the stop loss is what is called broker automated. So I tell the broker, hey, Mr. Broker, I want to make a thousand pounds on this trade, but if it goes against me and I'm at university or I'm driving or I'm on the golf course or I'm on holiday, then take me out of the trade automatically. I don't want to be by the screen. So it's fully automated, right? Don't need to be by the computer. Mm -hmm. The broker will do that for you. So you trade with a stop loss. So what does that look like? What does that look like? It looks like this. You tell the market, this is where I want to enter on this blue line. This is where I want to put my stop loss. You need to tell the market and the broker that. Mr. Broker, these are my order levels. Once the broker knows, it's automated. You don't need to be there. Let me tell you something. The best trades that I've taken and the best feeling that I get is when I'm in the gym or something like that and an email comes through my phone and it says, just bank 1,250 pounds. That's a good feeling, right? Would that be a good feeling for everyone? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that's, that's the kind of thing that happens, but it's automated. So my point is you don't need to be there, right? So your risk is capped and you keep yourself safe and it's all automated. You don't need to be by the computer. That's the idea. So you never, the t second tip, Tying into the first tip is you never risk more than 1% of your entire capital. This is how you keep yourself safe. You never, ever, ever risk more than 1% of your entire capital. Now, what does that mean? <coughs> that means that let's say I've got, I have this really bad habit of leaving pens everywhere, by the way. So I may at some point need help identifying where the pen is. So you guys can help me with that. Is that cool, everyone? Yeah. Shout out, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. Say, it's cool, Rish. It's cool, Rish. Just so I know I don't talk, I'm not talking to myself. Otherwise, if I start talking to myself, then I feel really stupid. Okay, here we go. If you have £1,000 in a trading account, your maximum risk is 1% of that. What is 1% of £1,000, anyone? £10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. £10. So, £10, right? My maximum risk, I will not lose more than £10 on this trade. 10 pounds, that's it. So my risk is capped, my downside is capped, I'm protected and I'm safe. So you have a very, very low probability of losing all your money, very low. Because once you've lost 10 pounds, you now have 9,000, no, you've got 990 pounds actually here. 990 pounds, so if you lose again, you're gonna lose 9 pounds 90. So this keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Just out of interest, does anyone here think they could get 10 trades wrong in a row. Put your hands up if you think you could do that. 10 trades wrong in a row. Just one? Just one person. Everyone else thinks they can nail it. One more? Okay, good. So what I would do with you guys is if you really think you can get 10 trades wrong in a row, I will give you both a six-figure salary. You come and work on my trading floor, and every time you buy, I'm gonna sell. Make sense? Make sense? Yes. Doesn't make sense because you think you're going to get it wrong all the time. Which means if you're getting it wrong and I go in the opposite direction, I'm going to get it right. If I get it right 10 times, I'm going to make a killing. So I'm going to pay you and I'll have some money left over. Right? No one can get it wrong 10 times. Not possible. Very, very difficult. So there's nothing to worry about on that side. Let's do tip, tip number three. Okay, the third tip is that you need to set a profit target on your trades of at least two to one. Two to one, okay? What does that mean? It means if I lose 10 pounds, I wanna make, whoever it is, tell them to come into the presentation as well, tell them what they're missing out on. <laughs> How much am I gonna make if I do two to one? Have a guess. Not quite, if I'm risking 10 pounds. 20, I'm gonna make 20 pounds, right? I'm gonna lose 10, I'm gonna make 20. I make 20, but I'm only going to lose 10. So now in the beginning, when you first start out, I don't expect you to be putting on 10 pounds per pip. Don't expect that. Put on a smaller amount per pip. Make a small amount of money like I made the first 75 pounds I made, very small position size. Make a small amount of money. Then, be strategic and smart and what happens is your capital starts to grow. Your 1,000 
will become 1,200 sous. Then you risk 12 pounds on a trade. Then you make 24. Is that cool? Yeah. Right? So then what happens is your profit starts to get more and more and more. But it's not, it doesn't happen very quickly. You need to be very, very patient. It is not a get rich quick scheme. Okay? So that's the idea. You have a profit target of at least two to one. What does that mean? It means you can get it wrong 50% of the time and still make money. You can be wrong five times, you can be right five times, but you're still gonna end up making money. Because when you lose on a 20,000 pound account, you're gonna lose 100 pounds each time. When you win, you're gonna make 200 pounds each time. So your net profit is 500 pounds after the losses. Is that smart or smart? Smart. Okay, give the person next to you a high five and tell him, boy, this guy's smart. Go. Boy, this guy's smart. Okay, see, I told you I like to have fun, right? So I'm sorry. Did anyone not get a high five? Did anyone not get a high five? You didn't get a high five? Did you get a high five? Yeah, you didn't? Okay, here we go. Boy, this guy's smart. Yeah, what's your name? Mehdi. Mehdi, good man. All right. So that's the idea. Does this make sense to everyone, what I'm talking about, or am I talking to myself? Does it make sense? Good. Okay, so it's a mathematical ratio that gives you an edge. But the great thing is, if your math says isn't that good, if your math says isn't that good, the spreadsheet is going to do all the calculations for you. So just a recap of my trader power tips. Just a recap of my trader power tips. Always trade with a stop loss. To limit your downside risk. Never risk more than 1% of your trading account and use a profit target of at least 2 to 1. So when you make money, you make 2 times more than what you risk. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, so it keeps you safe and secure, requires very, very, very little time and it's all automated and frees you up to do other things that you really want to do, okay? Now, what I want to talk to you very quickly about are three trading <coughs> myths. Three trading myths, okay? These are things that people think about financial markets trading. That is rubbish. The first one is, it's gambling. Anyone here have been to a casino? Yeah, a couple of people. So in a casino, generally, generally speaking, in a casino, what happens, a lot of people go there to gamble. There's only one difference, one difference between a trader and a gambler. Does anyone know what it is? What is that? You both got it. Yeah. Doesn't set the limit for loss. Curse. These guys are smart. So what happens is exactly that. See, a trader has rules. He has a rule set that he follows strictly very very smart set of rules that keeps you safe in the market but a gambler doesn't have that gambler loses on the poker table goes double up boom loses everything but a trader uses uh, very very smart techniques to make sure that it's, they, they don't gamble it's a statistical game we risk manage we won't risk more than one percent of our trading account what percent one, 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 one. what percent one, one. perfect one percent of your trading account it keeps you safe in the markets. Second myth. Oh, no more myths. Oh, yeah, that it takes too much time. So everyone on Fa who's here on some Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Yeah. So this is what one of my friends posted on Facebook, right? Fifteenth of September. She says, "I've just calculated. I've worked fifty-six hours this week, and I'm back in tomorrow." So that this young ladies and young gentlemen is very common of working life. Very common. Very, very common. Shattered and exhausted and you can't and got up at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, can't help it. Very, very common. People think that trading takes a lot of time. Trading takes 15 minutes a day. I trade 15 minutes a day, okay? 15 minutes a day, she needs to break the link. So I told her break the link, all right? Just to break the link. Stop working more to earn more. Work less, earn more. Work smarter, not 
harder. Does that make sense? That's the way to strategically make money. The second myth is people think it takes too much time, as I said, it takes 15 to 30 minutes a day. It's broker automated. You put your, why does it take 15 minutes? Because I give the instructions to the broker at 9 p.m. and I say, Mr. Broker, if the market does this, this and this tomorrow, I want to be involved. If it doesn't do this, I don't want to be involved. Put all my orders in, I go to, I'm here talking to you. I've got trades running right now. And I'm here talking to you. Those trades are making for me right now between around about 1,500 and 4,000 pounds. I don't know what the market's done today, so I haven't looked. But that's the region we're talking about. But I'm here talking to you. So the money's working for me, I'm not working for money. And this is the kind of mindset you need to adopt. Okay, so the great thing, as I said, 9 p.m., 15 minutes, these are all of my results.